pretty and paid the original initial version mm-hmm. uh, album uh, that was under the imprint of 1865. Correct. Pretty and paid 2.0, aside from the 1865 logo, has a Fourth and Broadway logo. Yes. It's 4th and Broadway and 1865 on a 2.0. Um, I recently, this year, 2021, what it was, you know, um, I recently just went into a major deal with 4th and Broadway. Um, when I first signed to 18, 1865, it was the beginning of um, last year, which is 2020. And um, I worked so hard on Pretty and Pay. I picked up so many new people. People was falling in love with what I was giving to the world. And thank God I signed to a major deal um, this year in May. And now Pretty and Paid 2.0 is the biggest thing on Apple Music right now. If you don't know, you know now. And we got a lot of more stuff coming with 4th and Broadway and 1865. I'm forever grateful. And I'm just ready for my fans to see what I've been working on. Now, are you able to explain how all of this works exactly what you mean by that i'm sorry so let's start from the very beginning when you first sign a recording contract i'm assuming here with 1865 Mm -hmm. why at that moment of your life even sign because everybody's Mm -hmm. situation is different and there are some people that don't sign recording contracts they don't sign a record label so for you let's just talk about that initial moment why that reasoning there for you um, well, I would say, um, me coming from a small town, I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into my craft by myself alone. And it got to the point when I was working so hard in my hometown, it was like, I need some extra help. I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit, I wanted some extra help. Me being a female in a dominated, in a male-dominated industry, I wanted, like, some extra help. Um, the CEO of 1865, his name is Side, um, he's a person that I've always known ever since I came to Atlanta, and I've been... Coming to Atlanta, well, now that I stay here, I've been staying here for like a year and a half now. But before that, I was driving back and forth to Atlanta for like two years. And he was someone that I've always known. I know he was one of like the head honchos of the music industry. And he always had interest in me. And he was just like, I want you to keep working. And once you get to a certain level and you feel really, really confident in your craft, I'm going to sign you and I'm going to put you where you need to be. So I just kept working for it. I kept working for it. Even if it didn't work out with me and him, I still wanted to work for something bigger for myself. So um, I just kept working my ass off. I felt like it was the only right thing to do. I, I didn't I didn't feel comfortable enough to like just keep going with my college thing because it was just wasn't working out. So I was like, music is the only thing. So I kept working my ass off and he signed me to 1865. And um I'm so grateful for that. 1865 um is big in the black culture. It means a lot to my culture. Um that was the year that the slaves were announced free. Um, but even though we wasn't actually free, but we had more trials and tribulations to go through after that, my culture. And um, 1865 was just like um, something like different for my culture. Like we, Even though we got brought into something that we didn't want to be in, 1865 that year, it was something for my culture. It was like a stepping stone even though we had so many different more things to go through after that, so many trials and tribulations. Um, And I'm proud to be part of 1865 because me speaking, me being a female rapper, me going about my talents and stuff, is a way of me showing my freedom. So, yeah. Okay, so (laughs) that brings us to 4th and Broadway. And and, And my initial question before we got into this was, how does this all work? Meaning, you sign one recording contract, Mm -hmm. and now there's another record label involved, and you refer to it as a major record label. So explain why there are two record labels involved now. Um, I would say um, 1865 is an independent label. Fourth and Broadway is a major label. So after I put a lot of work in with 1865, Fourth and Broadway picked me up, and now we're doing bigger video shoots bigger photo shoots. Um, everything is just bigger now. It's a bigger budget. We're going more crazy. You know what I'm saying? Girl might be in the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Not might. I will be in the Grammys. So, you know. So is that a situation where 4th and Broadway is researching you? They have interest in you. Right. They want to know what's going on with your situation. You're signed to some imprint already. Or is that a, a situation where 1865 is trying to find 
a major label home for you to do bigger and better things. So they're seeking out that for you, if you get what I'm saying. I, maybe in layman's terms, if I don't want to try to confuse you, maybe in layman's terms, what I'm asking here is, did Fourth and Broadway seek you or was 1865 seeking a bigger situation for you? Um, I would say both. Um, 1865, everything was going perfect, got big features. Um, but it got to a point I had so many different major labels. I mean, it just wasn't Fourth and Broadway having interest in me. Um, it was so many labels reaching out to my label, 1865, once I signed and I released my project Pretty and Paid, to the point where um, the dude that I was signed to, he was like, um, shoot, I just want the best situation for her. Everybody said we could take this bigger and larger, so I just want the best thing for her. And every label was giving offers and saying what they can do. And Fourth and Broadway, I was excited to be with this label. I wanted to be with this label. I love everything that they represented. So once Fourth and Broadway um, told my label everything they wanted, the offer and everything, I was like, let's go with it. So that's my home. <laughs> I so, got two homes. They are very passionate about me. They're pushing me. And one thing about having a team, you got to have people behind you that believe in your dream the same way you do. And I can honestly say, Fourth and Broadway, 1865, they believe in my dream. And everything is just manifesting right now. I'm grateful. I'm appreciated. And, like, it's up. <laughs> Did you have a final say or the ultimate say on which major label home you wanted to go to? Like, if you weren't feeling a major label mm -hmm. that was, you know, trying to pursue you, was 1865 going to abide by your wishes? Right. I always have a say so on anything. It'll be the smallest thing. If they come in the room with a white T-shirt and a red T-shirt, whatever shirt I pick, my decision is the final one. That's everything in my career. Now, care to share what kind of deal this is? Mm -hmm. What type of recording contract you signed? I don't really elaborate on that, but honestly speaking, the songs and the music that I'm creating now, from generations and generations from now, my kids, my anything, anybody in my family, they're going to be able to live off my music. And just know, I don't, I don't sign OBS. Everything I, I do, I have a lawyer and, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm not no goofy out here, okay? Are Everybody's you, eating over here, though. Are you biologically related to anyone on 1865 or 4th and Broadway? No. <laughs> and just for chronological purposes, do you mm -hmm. remember when? Do you remember the month and the year you signed to 1865, and then the month and year you signed to 4th mm. and Broadway? I would say I signed um, to 1865, um, April 2020. I signed to 4th and Broadway, May 2021 of this year. And for time reference, it's December 2021 mm -hmm. right now. Now, my final question with 4th and Broadway is, what is it like being signed to 4th and Broadway? It's it amazing. It's amazing. Um, it's more artists on this label that inspire me. Um, I'm looking at the level that they're at, and it's just boosted up my work ethic because I was like, okay, so they going hard like that, the label pushing it. I can be that 10 times more, 10 times better. So it's very inspiring me inside to 4th and Broadway. It's a great team, and I feel like I'm at home. They're based in New York, and people always say, girl, you sound like you're from up north, so... Every time I go up there and I work, it's just it's just home. It's very nice. I love my team, and I really appreciate them. Now, you also mentioned in mm -hmm. this interview that you were number one on Apple Music. Correct. Mm -hmm. What category was that? Um, Hip-hop. iTunes, U.S. hip-hop. Okay. And that was for albums. Right. Was that the first time you've ever been number one on that chart there? Yes, it was bittersweet. It was crazy. I wasn't expecting it. I always knew it was going to happen, but I just did not think it was going to happen that fast. So I was like, girl, just let this be the, like, sign right now. Just uh, just do you and just chill. Let the, let the work, you know, do what it's supposed to do. Now, I want to ask you a question in regards to that, just mm -hmm. because you are on two different record labels. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you weren't a part of 4th and Broadway, you could have got to that number one spot? without them, or 
was it being under that imprint that helps get you there? You know what you be doing. You, you know what you be doing. But um, I want to say yes. I would say yes. Um, me being signed to Fourth and Broadway in 1865, I would say it's just, you know, just expediting everything. But I would most definitely still hit number one. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Both labels that I'm signed to is other artists that's on the catalog. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a time for everybody, you know? It was just my time to be number one, and I got that. Okay. And just for transparency, yeah. when you did the uh, original, initial, uh, Pretty and Paid, how far did it get on that same chart? Um, I think it hit 35, 36. Same category, hip-hop. Um, yeah, it went up there, though. <laughs> it hit 35. Um, I really feel like... Um, it hit number one. What like what really boosted it to go number one was this song that all my fans anticipated. It was Apple Jacks. Um, I posted a snippet to it earlier this year, and all my fans just went crazy. I just released it on iTunes after that, and it was like, "Girl, you gotta put this on the project." So once I got with Fourth of Broadway, we got the clearance and everything, and you know, got it on a project, and it just went crazy. My fans just going crazy right now.